Hey everybody, thank you for joining me on my channel. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's your weekend read from June 29th through the 30th, or through the 1st of July. I can't believe I'm saying that already. I have to excuse my appearance. I just came from the gym. Um, I do apologize if you tried to join me live yesterday. Um, if you were there, you probably realized that we lost power and um, was out for hours. So um, I am going to try again this afternoon uh, here in about an hour to go live. So try to catch me then if you'd like. It's sunny, hot, and 108 here today. So I don't think we're going to have any troubles with electricity. So, okay. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Virgo for the weekend? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so your shared energy, oof, the Ten of Wands and the Devil in Reverse, so letting go of the burden, letting go of uh, feeling like you need this person, you can't live without them, so you'll put up with anything to be with them, um, codependency on each other, uh, just no longer dealing with a toxic relationship, no longer dealing with toxic energy um, in your space. And you're going to start over. You're going to start a new chapter. And having the strength to leave this energy behind is what I keep hearing. So for you, Virgo, you're the bottom of the deck. Wow. The bottom of the deck is the fool. So you're sent out new. You're um, ending relationships this weekend. Um, putting down the burden of a relationship that is not good for you. And starting fresh, starting new on your own, um, setting out blindly and letting faith guide the way. Um, the person that you are in a relationship or leaving is the star in reverse. Could be an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. I'm hearing Taurus as well. Um, Virgo, you are a Virgo with Aries in your chart, uh, whether it be moon or rising or Venus. Uh, but... They're not wanting this relationship to end. They don't see the toxicity of it, or they do, and they just don't want to let you go. They could be codependent on you, um, but whatever the reason, they are not happy about this relationship ending. They're not happy about you um, finding this newfound strength as well. Like They liked the feeling of you having to need them. Um, yeah, for sure. The outcome is the Page of Swords. So um, immature uh, could have an, an exchange of immature energy, like immature fighting, bickering. Um, yeah. They're going to act really hasty towards you. They could say some things that are hurtful or um, trying to manipulate you to stay. Even... Um, even though that they know that this isn't good for either one of you, um, they just really don't want to let you go. They're um, also like really, they're like trying to hack your social media accounts, your emails. They look through your phone to see what numbers you call. Yeah. But once you leave this energy, uh, Virgo, and you set out, new, you're going to have this newfound strength. You're going to, um, get blessings abundant and from the universe, um, prayers being answered, a new beginning, a new start could be with somebody else, but no matter what, it's a cause for celebration. It's, um, it's part of your journey, part of your soul's, uh, path to set out on your own and look for fulfillment. Look for the two of cups. The Eight of Cups goes to the Ten of Cups for me. So it's not like you're even going backwards because this person is out looking for their soulmate. So it goes from the Eight to the Ten. And your prayers are being answered. Your wishes are coming true because you had the courage to set out. You had the courage to take the leap of faith in hopes that by leaving this energy, somebody new would come in. And it's coming for you. A, a lot of emotional satisfaction here. A lot of emotional um, bliss, happiness, abundance comes when, when you let go of this heavy energy and take a leap of faith.
So take a leap of faith, Virgos. I will do um, another reading in case you didn't connect with that one. Uh, Virgos, though, overall, you are dealing with endings, uh, especially in July. So why wouldn't this come at the end of June, beginning of July? So, Brittany Angels, what messages do you have for Virgo for this weekend? Uh, pick a side. One side will be your energy. The other side will be either who you're connecting with, who you're hoping to connect with, or who you're waiting to connect with. Pick which side you resonate with. Your partner is the other one. That was quick. All right. So either you or the person that you are um, connected with or going to be connecting with, you're you're up in the air about a decision that you have to make. Um, you're kind of juggling finances at the moment and also um, possibly juggling people as in where to put your investment. You're not sure. Um, it's so up in the air who you're going to um, invest your time and emotions with because you're so back and forth. It, one day you're leaving this person, you're going to be with this person. The other day you're going to be with this person and never talking to this person again. You're so, you're back and forth, wishy-washy. Um, this is also, you know, the ups and downs of life. This is um, taking, like, rolling with the punches. You know, you got to take the good with the bad. And um, this card is saying to to uh, think about that when you're dealing with your partner. They're not going to be perfect all the time. They're not going to be um, horrible all the time. Like, you have to, everybody has their downfalls. Everybody has their um, positives, their uh, good qualities or bad qualities. So you gotta, you got to ask yourself, are you ready to, um, commit to somebody in the good times and in the bad times? And if you're not, then that person's not for you. The person you're connecting with, or this could be you pick a side is the six of cups in reverse. So, um, this is somebody from your past. You have, uh, you do know this person. You haven't seen each other in a while. But this is something's blocking them from moving forward. Um, could be uh, they have a guard, their guard up. They're they're emotionally um, detached, is what I was trying to say. Um, you could have children with this person. Yeah, a lot of you do have children with this person. This is somebody you've known since childhood. Um, but they're they're emotionally detaching from this connection because they know that you're not putting all your energy, all your pinnacles into this relationship. So they're going to take a step back this weekend. The person with the two of pinnacles, oh my, they're ending a third party. Um, could be possibly not everybody is in a third party situation, but they're they're making a choice. Uh, they have been juggling between two people and now they're going to make a choice. If you're not in a third party situation, this is somebody quit a job and now they're having to juggle their finances because they don't have another job lined up. The soulmate energy has the two of swords. So they're emotionally disconnected because they are up against a decision. They have a choice to make whether to stay or whether to go. If you, this, if you're in a third party situation, this person, um, is juggling and this person knows it and they're um, deciding whether they should make a choice to go before this person makes a choice to leave. Um, you're both still in that spot right now because you're in the upright, but um, this soulmate, this person you possibly have children with, they're deciding whether or not um, to continue with this relationship or to continue to uh, disengage and exit. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, didn't I? Yeah. Three of cups, three of pentacles. However, if you are dealing with a job situation, there is a uh, time to celebrate because you are um, getting a job or finances are going to come through for you. If you're in a third party situation, you're going to, uh, you're going to be celebrating because you're going to pick the right person. Um, you're going to pick the person who, uh, is divinely guided to be with you. Um, 
Yeah. And your heart's going to sing is what I hear when you make the choice and follow through with it. Yeah. Um, sorry, I was getting a message. The other person is the 10 of cups. So here they are. They're at a crossroads they They have a choice to make. Do they stay here where there's no emotion, no um, emotional connection? Uh, the cups have run dry. They've all tipped over. Do they stay here or do they make the choice to go where their heart is going to have um, like overwhelming love, joy, happiness? Yeah, their choice is whether to stay in this unfulfilling relationship or to go out and look for the Ten of Cups, the happy family, happy life, happy everything, emotionally satisfied, emotionally abundant. They're just thinking it right now because it's in the upright, but this is the choice they have to make. The person over here has the or a cups in the reverse. So there's a gift from the universe that this person is clearly not seeing. They're um, not letting love in at this moment from anybody. They are lost in their own thoughts. They're blocking um, somebody out, but it's in the reverse. So they're slowly letting their emotions guide the way. You went from the three to a four. You went from a two to a three. You are progressing if this is you, Virgo. You are moving forward. You may be mo moving at that snail pace that earth signs love to do, but you are moving forward. Um, you, you are ascending to where you're meant to be. Um, you are going to celebrate because you're coming out of this not enough uh, phase of mourning the loss of what you've lost. Um Instead of being thankful for what you're blessed with, you're coming out of that. So you are going to be celebrating this weekend with somebody. Um, your person over here is the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So they're coming. They're finishing a completion point. This person betrayed this person. Um, this person that was juggling two people destroyed this person. They're devastated, but they're coming out of this cycle in their life. And, um, that's why they have a choice to make because at first they felt they didn't have a choice when they were betrayed. They had to stay with this person. This is who they're meant to be with. This is who they have kids with. This is who they're married to, you know, all those thoughts. But now that they're finishing this cycle of the ultimate betrayal, the heartache, they're realizing they're worth more than that. They're realizing that I deserve better than that. I deserve this. And so, um, however, this is still just a thought. No movement. No wands here. Um, this person, these seven of cups in reverse. They're coming out of confusion. They're coming out of um, manipulating their situation to make it what they want it. Um, but to me, this is the soulmate card. Um, I know it's weird, but this is having a lot of options. Yes. But, um, this is, this is the journey. You know, you think something is what it is. You think something is what somebody tells you it is. Um, so you, you give it the benefit of the doubt and assume that's what it is, but it's nothing until it manifests in the physical. So, um, you may have thought you were on the right path. You may have thought you were with the right person. You may have thought you were at the right job. Um, but until you meet that person that you're truly meant to be with, does it manifest into the physical? And that's what this card is. This is, um, man, this is, you know, things that aren't, aren't really there, you know, and then in the reverse, it's, it's manifesting into reality. So, um, this is the person that you, um, are divinely guided to be with. And that's why there's going to be such a celebration. 
and you're no longer going to juggle. I do see this person on the right leaving. Um, they're realizing that this isn't emotionally fulfilling for them anymore. Yeah, you guys may be soulmates, but soulmates aren't always meant to stay together forever. Um, they come into our lives a lot of time to help us, to help us learn, to help us um, feel happiness, joy, sadness, success, failures, lessons learned. And, and now they see that it's time for them to move on. Completion, um, this chapter is completed. So I do see a breakup for this group of you. Um, yeah. A lot of hurt and heartache between these two people too as well. Um, but you guys have almost healed um, as this relationship was deteriorating. So it's not going to be such a shock to the both of you. Um, for this group of you, I do see even some of you sitting down and being like, you know, calling it truce. Both of you uh, walking away. Um, not like horribly fighting or, you know, like one wants it, one doesn't. So um, I do see you guys have healed a, a lot before even this breakup happens. So, but overall, the energy is still happy. It's still um, satisfying. There's still reason to have joy this weekend because um, big movements, big movements for you twin flames, big movements for you soulmates that are life partners, huge reunions and unions this, uh, this month in July. Well, not this month, but the end of June, beginning of July. So um, just follow your heart, take that leap of faith and you'll be surprised how much your heart sings. So Virgos, I hope you have a beautiful weekend as always. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm sending you love, light, and God bless.